Hey everybody, it's Last Robot Kai here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising. Last time we defended Meridian and the Governor's Palace from the House Vandus traitors and the Black Legion, and did so successfully, and in uh, great flashy, happy, singing, uh, ah, uh, sort of great moments. That was great. That was a panning shot. Yeah, sad you missed it. Joining me, uh, as we head to uh, Aurelia now to take care of some unfinished business is... Yo, dude, it's cool guy, and I'm just back from in, uh, from inspecting the metal statue they built in my honor. I, I, I'm giving one of those hello ladies grins. It's great. Yeah, um, I, mine's not finished yet because I demanded they make it like about five times bigger than it is. It's, <laughs> it's and and it, I think they're just going to construct it out of the main spire now. So uh, we're heading off to Aurelia because our unfinished business is is there. Uh, Aragus, the uh, the pillager is basically on an open channel talking shit at us, and has been doing so for a while now. He's probably tapping the microphone and saying, is this thing on? <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, he has been pulling this shit for like three days straight. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> then he would get tired of something. Face me, you, you idiots! Where are us? Hello? Hello? He's probably actually got someone else's number. He's probably been calling somebody else. Probably Eliphas. <laughs> Eliphas is like, Aragast. The wrong number Why are you again. Calling this number? <laughs> I told you already. Is that you, Eliphas? Give me the number of the Blood Ravens. Anyway, um, so Lord of Chaos. Uh, this is a pretty interesting mission because it has an it has an interesting corruption mechanic, and it encourages you to take avatars. So let's uh, let's see what the briefing is. Blood Ravens, hear me. I am Aragas the Pillager, Master of Hounds. The Lash of the Black Legion. You and all your kind are cowards, lowly lickspittles. You must be emulating that pile of bones you call an emperor. You are as dead and useless as him. I am destroying your worlds, Blood Ravens, yet you do nothing. I see your precious craft hanging in orbit above Aurelia. I am here. Face me, if you dare! Well, I guess that's the briefing we get when, uh, Gabriel Angelus is busy. <laughs> I, li I like the text here, too. We must destroy this braggart! I agree, Commander. We cannot allow him to call us, and the Emperor, cowards. When we strike at this madman, there can be no falling back or tactical withdrawals. And that brings in the corruption mechanic. If we fall back for any reason, we gain corruption. Uh, so it's kind of like failing the B-Pure mission. It's great. if <laughs> it's, it's easy if you want to corrupt yourself, though, because the minute you deploy, just hit X. Uh, and, well, obviously, getting called a coward, and also that he smells, and also that uh, no one likes him, Avtus is, uh, is pretty mad about this. Enough! I can no longer sit here in orbit while that treasonous filth lives. I swear I will deliver the death blow myself. So, yeah. <laughs> Avtus wants to join the party, and who are we to deny him? Uh, we'll probably get a few people going, what the fuck are you doing? Because as you can see, the mission says, hey, yo, there are some, you know, powerful armored vehicles. You want to, you know, want to bring anti-vehicle stuff? And I've taken the last cannon off Avatus. Uh, that's mostly because, um, that would probably destroy everything. And <laughs> we, want, we want things to be visible for a few seconds while we destroy them. So, and, al and also because I don't want him just sort of hanging out on the fringes, pew-pewing, when, uh, when we go to face this this Chaos Lord Aragast, so I put him in Terminator armor, give him an assault cannon, loaded him up with artillery and cyclone missiles, so... We've got, we've got Thule to take care of the vehicles with Machine Duel. And Tarkus. And Tarkus as well, with his Power Fists. And of course, Priyad will be there to yell at and explode a few things himself. So... <laughs> they're not necessarily exploding things by yelling at them, unfortunately they didn't include No, 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 that. no, necessarily exploding things by <laughs> yelling at it. That is exactly why I was laughing. That was the greatest <laughs> mental image I've had in a long time. Oh dear, and, and as you can see, um, Eliphas skulking around behind the picture of Aragast here. And, and, uh, what, what is that pose even doing? It looks like he's just copping a squat right there. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Aragast is a bit of a taskmaster and he hasn't had a chance to go to the toilet yet. Uh-huh. Lord Aragast, please stop phoning me, I need to go to the bathroom! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at all these things exploding. They're falling over. Important of things to come. <laughs> yes. It's about time we made everything explode. 
Again. Ah, oh, you finally show your faces. <laughs> Have you mastered your fear at last? We know no fear. For we are fear incarnate. You blood ravens are clearly fearless in your hurry to leave the sector. <laughs> the courage with which you show us your hind quarters does your emperor proud. I love this guy. Turncoat scum, I will kill you here and now. Uh, he is the master of sass. Our weapons sass. are ready. Repositioning. Uh, you would... I, I think the real reason that Avatus is angry is that he's finally found somebody with a sharper tongue than him. Oh man, like, Aragus is just mean about it. Very impressive. You have more steel than the rest of your muley chapter. Rejoice, brothers! Your slavery to the false emperor ends today. The only thing ending today is your worthless life. Oh, Tarkus still has some yes. sass on him, too. And to the void with orders and niceties. <laughs> the... But not uh. quite yet, little blood ravens. First, a test. Make your way to my chosen battleground. Yeah, let's waste your fucking Alpha, time. God, I love this guy. Yes, Lord. Oh. And he just blinked away. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, well, we didn't think it was going to be that easy, did we? Uh, I had hoped, nonetheless. I was just under attack. Still plenty to kill here, so that's always a bonus. Hey, toss a toss an artillery strike on that built bunker. Sounds good to me. Uh, what's wrong with you? Okay, that's yes. that's not under attack. Already? Jeez. Oh, I see why. Oh, that Havoc is pissing me off. Okay, Tarkus is punching him in the face. As is the fate of all heretics that run face first into. Be fun. I love suicide bomber heretics. They're so hilarious. Ah, uh, and they're so broken in multiplayer too. Well, they used to be. Oh, I, think God. They, I think they fixed that. I think they made them less hor horrific to fight against. Just uh, come on. Oh, there's some dudes up there. Break I'm gonna that have box. to go sit on God them. damn it, Priyad! <laughs> it's right in front of you. Now <laughs> they attack it. Oh god, hit it. I'm gonna have Thor go sit on those dudes up top. Oh my god, he is. Are you are making me sad. There we go. Not that we really needed that, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, because you can hook around and you can kill a few things in the meantime. Might as well go up and do it. Okay! These missions have been running a bit quick recently because we've just like been on time limits. You know, and, and set waves. So let's just mosey this time. Let's just mosey on. Look at him go. Hot, toasty backsides. <laughs> Man, they, they're just running away. I'm sad. I wanted to murder them all. Oh, that's okay. Look. More murder buddies. There! Ah, oh, man, they get so Oh! You know what this is a job for? Oh, that's a thing. Yes. Good night, Irene. And also building. <laughs> ah, never gets old. That one guy just saw lying on the ground. Right in front of you. <laughs> Fortunately, Thule does not hold know how to friendly fire. Ah, uh, he's been he's been facing the wrong direction and shooting at things for longer than we've been killing orcs and heretics. He knows the score. I'm taking a quick nap. Yeah, might as well. Okay. I think those are gonna explode. Doesn't yeah, matter, I'm invincible. Oh. <laughs> That's the best part about being Prion. It's just like I'm invincible. Oh, you didn't you didn't even really need to use that. Yeah, but I could, so I did. Okay, time to do something probably regrettable. 
Uh, I'm gonna bombard him, so be careful. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, you're fine. See? Only two people died. <laughs> okay, two of Tarkus's men are dead. Uh, they were jerks anyway. That was that was Jerkicus and Buttholio. They were, uh, Buttholius. They don't like them. Uh, dear Priya, yeah, looks like you gotta gotta get in there and kill that guy because he's gonna cause trouble. Oh look, another building. <laughs> Can you guess what's gonna happen to that building? I can guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I like how the screen shakes. It truly is fun. Everything just died, and it is glorious. It's always glorious when when things are dying for the emperor. You reckon they buffed that missile launcher a little? It seemed like it did more damage to Tarkus' dudes than it actually did to any of the enemies. So uh, it's not. probably just because uh, because Tarkus' dudes ate one directly. I got this. I haven't actually, you know, shown this off. <laughs> I, you know, I looked away last time. I thought, no, that's not good enough. Let's fix this. <laughs> well, it's just going to take a nap and back, because clearly he's not needed for that one. That's right, Avatar Small Corpse is indeed. Oh, there's Aragust over there. He's picked his battlefield and it's right there. Let's, uh. Is that, a, is that an artillery strike? That's my artillery. Morbus, I will remember you fondly when I burn your worlds to ash! Oh, God, that is such a cool line. I, I I forgot how much I like Aragas. He has such awesome lines. I note he is not immune to knockback. <laughs> yes, I noticed that as well. I'm out of this. <laughs> Aragas the pillager is apparently Aragas the unstable. Oh, he melt the sweep. There we go. Now we got him trapped in a corner. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Isn't that cute? <laughs> He's just like, I can't even stay up, so I'm just gonna use his flamethrower. Kaboom! And now you're stunned. <laughs> really? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head over and help out over there, because these guys are attacking yeah, yeah, him. I don't want him to fall back. Uh, okay, we're gonna We're gonna wander our way back to the point. Avatus under attack. <laughs> Don't you dare kill Avatus. He's <laughs> meanwhile over in our cast. Everybody's falling over. Now you are a devastator, brother. Okay, let's get back at him. <laughs> not that it, not that it oh, seems that needed. Like he's having so much difficulty. Poor Aragast. Awesome lines, terrible ballads. Look at this. Oh dear. <laughs> I suppose if, if you really had armor like his, this would be a serious problem. Lord Korn smiles on us, Blood Ravens. And away he goes. Do you have the will to pass his final tests? <laughs> Elephas, the next portal. Yes, Lord. Coward! You will not escape! And he has a bit of a snack in the meantime, so he gets his health back up. Of course. To be fair, though... He, he's giving us all these tests. I'm pretty sure he just failed Commander, the sobriety. Look, a way forward. We can finish this yet. Ah, <laughs> oh, Blood Ravens, you have passed the get up a ramp test. Truly, you are cunning. Oh, come on over, Abitus. We can join the fight. This is a plague marine, and he is about to die. Yes, he is. He's gonna explode good and proper. Especially with Abitus on the case. Multi melt a sweep, eat all of it, bastard! Oh shit, multi melt just nailed that motherfucker. Hmm. Well, we've got a little, uh, a little place up ahead that we can respawn some dudes at, so you won't need to walk Tarkus all the way back up, I think. Yeah. Damn, this... there we go. That's the end of that problem. Oh, cultists! There's a new one. Ah, finally. No, get back here! I wanted to stomp on you! 
Oh no, they've gained corruption. <laughs> I'm sure they're totally worried about that. <laughs> ah shit, we ruined the purity run! Anyway. <laughs> there is a shrine ahead. It is sure to be well defended, but securing it would aid us greatly. Really? I keep oh. getting more, uh, more Rosarius charges. Hmm. That's always good. I'm not sure why. Oh, those guys are going to go into that bunker, I bet ya. Yeah, I need a little more time to get my my energy up. No, you don't. Oh, you're going to destroy it? No, you don't. I I just, uh, I just I got the, um, I just used the med kits that we have. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, Class Commander looking a little, uh, looking a little like you ran a bit too much into that. Yes! Fight on for the Blood God! <laughs> He's so excitable. Oh, and here comes oh, someone who wants a machine now duel. The fun begins. Jesus, you barely even had a chance to get into melee. Yeah, no kidding. All to get murdered. Boom! Ah, oh, man. That is some fine exploding they've got going there. Oh, Christ, that was great. Oh, and my yell's on cooldown. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, we got more dudes over here. I'll, uh, this is I'll send Avatus to come out. Live I'm, uh, currently killing some demons. Yeah, I, I think I can handle this. Also, we got a weapon called the Dread Mall of Scarbrand. Uh, Scarbrand is a uh, a famous bloodthirster in Warhammer 40,000 lore, uh, in so far as he was the only bloodthirster stupid enough and perhaps crazy enough to attack Korn himself. And uh, I've told Cool Guy the story of it, and uh, he found it quite amusing because Korn's response was basically to uh, shake the life out of this guy <laughs> until like there was nothing left but like the rage that had made him like make the rather ill-conceived uh, attack attempt on Korn. I will say that you know, one of the things I love most about the writing, about the fluff in Warhammer 40k is that gods kind of, uh, they really do act like they're actually gods in the sense that even if you do something that's totally blasphemous, they really know that they're that they're going to come out on top in all likelihood, so they're just going to do something absolutely fucking hilarious with the, uh, with the opportunity. Oh yeah. <laughs> So look at this, not even not even using a LAS cannon, this predator not doing so well. I'm gonna machine duel him anyway. Yeah, might as well. There we go. Uh looks like so there's some worshipping cultists up there. A uh artil artillery strike would not go awry. Artillery strike, you say? I have a better idea. Oh, that is a better idea. Although I've seemed to have misaligned it, so I'll uh, plant this one over here. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're still getting it. <laughs> yeah, well, we're getting everything. Like, we're not missing anything. If we're gonna purge this place, we're gonna do it properly. There'll be no shirking the purging on my uh, on my detail. <laughs> good, good night, Blood Crusher. That was uh, a nice quick death you had there. That is how you scour. That emplacement is a rubble. Oh, Greater great. contemplation of the codex. Oh, that's kind of nice. Hmm. I believe that is a yes. That is an experience item. So we'll be able to level up someone at the, uh, the threat's discretion. Currently. All these damned iced over tanks. The Blood Ravens must have had quite a lot of like ordnance and armor before this planet got sucked into the war. You would think. <laughs> Sorry, Argus, we're just capturing a shrine. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, we'll be with you in a second. And by a second, I mean whenever I goddamn well feel like it. <laughs> yep. On this planet, blood runs cold anyway, so, you know, you gotta... You, you, you're not gonna really worry about uh, about losing the will to fight, because you wait five seconds and it's just like, you know, I'm the tired. Uh, and nap time. Nap, nap time. time forever in, in, the, in the loving blanket of the snow. Imagine, I imagine Aragast is quite upset by that though, he's like... <laughs> he's like, Eliphas, where are the Blood Ravens? Probably napping, sire. 
I have my ordnance. I'm gonna ordnance uh, those Havocs in the back there. Because Havocs get mined. Sorry, Havocs get artillery. There we go. Well, that just erased that hard point. Yep, and there's also a bunker over there which we should probably explode as well. Observe, Blood Ravens! Corn thanks you for your offerings! You're welcome, Corn. They hide behind their guns. <laughs> I love that Abbas just goes, Pah, they hide behind their guns. It's like, well, you know. <laughs> can't, can't really blame him. Alright, Abbas, give him the love drop. <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs> ah, never gets old. It never gets old. Ooh. That looks like quite a party. Overlapping fields of Get over here and machine tool me! Yes. Move off to the side and try and miss on that one. There we go. There we go. Good <laughs> and proper and oh hey look at that! Oh Very, even better! Yeah, get that guy, get that guy some machine duel, and that way we can kill him and we can get some bonuses. Oh and there's another one too. This party will not end. This is just a good, this is a good corn murder party. Machine <laughs> duel. It's like Christmas. Yeah, uh, earlier I clicked on the Force Commander. His uh, health was at about 1,300. Now it's at 2,200. So. Uh, <laughs> All these kills that uh, that he's making are are good for the uh, good for the maximum health for your mission. Command. I'm gonna bomb that bunker again. Direct our wrath and you See this this is the Avatus show. This is <laughs> This is how this is how blood runs when Avatus is involved. It run, it runs charred in a time. Return fire, It's full of having a having a little adventure. There was so many dudes over here, and I got pissed off, so I wanted to kill something. <laughs> so I have to kill something. Oh, okay. Yes, it's time for a multi multi sweep. Or kill something. Oh. All of the somethings. Yep, that was a Black Legion barbecue, and no mistake. Sorry, Black Legion, but you guys are the Grits. So a little bit of yelling to make things explode, not yelling things and exploding them <laughs> as we need to. <laughs> I still, I still think they really missed the boat on that. They could have made it. They could have made it just a yell that explodes things. Explodes demons. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Another, yeah. another team of cultists and shit up top. Oh, there was. <laughs> there was. Much more accurate characterization. <laughs> I was just just standing right in front of it, just like you know, pulls the cigar out. <laughs> <laughs> He's lighting the cigar on the on artillery the fire. Explosions. There was there was a cigar in a box in the artillery, and it exploded at his feet, and the cigar flew out and landed in his mouth. <laughs> oh look! You jerks want to make fan art and shit. Make fan art of that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the, the dreadnoughts. Oh, it's okay. He wanted to die. He's he is so happy that we have we've actually killed him. Like there's belief yeah, beyond yeah, words. Yeah, yeah, never mind. It's just like seriously, he, like, we're we're trivializing the shit out of these people. Doesn't doesn't do much for their uh for their self esteem. Self, yeah, doesn't do much for their self esteem. But hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm taking the nap. You take your turn. Down in front. Come on, Phil, stop being so fat. <laughs> Dude, I have six casts of the Rosarius. This is gonna be a massacre. I I'm having flashbacks from that to Pathing from Dawn of War One where like you could lock down an entire squad with one ear and Your dreadnought. running is over, traitor. Now you die. Fear some words, Blood Raven. Boom! Now show me deeds. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we'll just make you fall over again. I mean, it's not like it's that hard, buddy. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god, it's so it's funny. Sports stunning. <laughs> I can tell what he's been pillaging, and it's been alcohol. <laughs> Look at this stupid son of a bitch. Oh, he's gotten out. 
Let's run him down again. And, and every so often he resets to the middle of the arena, and then somebody does that, and he falls over. Uh, and he's like the Khan effects. He's like our old friend. He's like our old friend Khan effects. Oh man. See, here is oh. the power you are denied. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, you, there we go. Ravens. No one, no one. Beats on them. Kill yeah. the heretics to weaken him. Yep, you wanna you wanna kill the heretics so we can't get health off, basically. But a good way to do that is to uh, and he'll walk up and he'll kill one of them. Also, you might notice he's actually changed war gear as well. He's uh he's not wielding the flamer as he was before. He's now carrying a set of uh, lightning claws. Of course, he's still falling over a lot, so you know he's got about an equal opportunity to use oh, the damn things. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, yes he does. Ah, uh, come on! Ah, oh, look at that! Oh no, he got it. Oh well. Oh well, only one thing to do. Keep knocking him in his butt. Oh, by the way, <laughs> we are now invincible for like the next minute. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, too bad I used up all my. Too uh... war. Yeah, too bad I used up all my energy on that. Let me know next time you're gonna pop it, and I'll drop an artillery strike on him. <laughs> You'll have to get Actually, Thul out of the way. Just drop it, and I w I'll start. Uh, I'll start using it. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the energy for. It. Oh wait. Oh, that isn't good. Elephants. Yes, my lord. Open a portal. Mm. No, I think not. A change in leadership is in order. <laughs> Elephants! You treasonous dog! No! Really? You're surprised about treason on the ca on with your <laughs> chaos? So seriously. So this is something I wanted to point out. Like I mentioned before, that we uh, <clears throat> that we'd be seeing a, a character who display traits of a, of a character that I'm quite fond of. Um, in this particular case, uh, it's Steve Blum actually voices Starscream in the Transformers Prime uh, animated thing, and that is, yeah, that kind of reminds me of his voice. <laughs> so. I, I wish I could laugh like that, though. If I could uh, laugh like that, I'd just, like, call up random people, laugh into the phone exactly like, like that, and then hang up. Uh, <laughs> well worth it. Uh, Alright, Avatus, get him! Melee, Avatus, go! <laughs> We're gonna do this thing! He's making it happen! He's running! Yeah, he's he's running. running! I'm running! Uh, no escape this time. So that's uh, that's how you move up in the world of chaos. Of <laughs> that's that's upward mobility for you. <laughs> I, I on, honestly, you know, I I think we've traded down. I mean, we we had somebody who was at least really witty, and now I mean, admittedly, we have somebody with an awesome laugh. But oh Jesus, that's all he's got. I'm pretty sure Aragast is also voiced by Steve Blum as well. So Steve Blum doing so many voices with so many different characters, he hits it right out of the park with most of them. I mean, like, I'm just going to say that. He does a really great Martellus. Uh, he really captured, like, Martellus's tired and frustrated nature. He, uh... Oh, 777, seven, seven, very nice. He uh, he captured Aragast beautifully. Like, Aragast just chews the scenery up lovely as, like, a complete crazy bastard. And then Eliphas's laugh is just... Loving it. Yeah, yeah, his his laugh is just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> also, the, also, um, yeah. as far as the gear with uh, the gear we got, the greater contemplation of the codex does affect everybody. But we also somewhere got bionic implants, which increases the strength discipline by two. Hmm. Well, that's handy. So uh, we'll yeah. have to let the thread decide about that as well. Yeah, that's interesting. Also, uh, just wanted to note this about Scarbrand, is every kill you make with it, the Deadmall Scarbrand, earns corruption. So if you decide at some point, you know what, I've got to feel full purity force commander, but I really want to see what the, uh, what the ending is like if you've got corruption, just hold on to that and equip it for him. He'll go full corruption by the end of the last mission. <laughs> From fuel yeah, full corruption by the end of any mission. Yeah, so, uh, but that's... That's uh, Scarbrand for you. He is—he's uh, kind of crazy, and he does make you go crazy as well. 
no, I think it's. I think everyone's going to be uh, slapping each other on the back for this one. We did. We did just cut off the head of the uh, slightly more confident. A fitting one. death for a leader of traitors. <laughs> True, but what game is Eliphaz playing? Bah! He is greedy and honorless scum. He saw his chance to gain power, and he took it. And the prospect of Eliphaz with more power somehow reassures you, Commander. Another transmission from Captain Diomedes of the Honor Guard. He has declared Gabriel Angelos a renegade, and orders our return to Calderas. I have also uncovered additional information about Apothecary Galen and his expedition aboard the Judgment of Carrion. I love, I absolutely love the way that he just said that. <laughs> he said that all of us like with more good. power somehow reassures you. Another, another excellent line from, from Steve Blum. Like, seriously, like, people give him shit for having, like, the same voice. Well, those are all extremely different voices, and he's done an amazing job with all of them. Uh, I think the main reason they give him shit for that is that they're all manly growls. And, uh, and you know, I mean, <laughs> surprise, surprise, if you're able to do a manly growl voice well, you get pretty far. I mean, news <laughs> freaking flash. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely true. Okay, well, uh, Thul has a com... Uh, well, uh, let's go with let's go with uh, Captain Diomedes first. Let's see what he has to say, because he's apparently uh, declared Gabriel Angelos a renegade. So I assume the talks went fabulous. Blood Ravens. Take heed, for the grievous sins of refusing chapter orders, spreading heresy, raising arms against his one-time brothers, and stealing relics, arms, and artifacts from the chapter. Gabriel Angelos is hereby declared an enemy of the chapter and sentenced to death. The renegade Angelos has fled, absconding with the battle barge Litany of Fury. I, Captain Apollo Diomedes, issue this declaration with full authority from Azariah Kairos, Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens and Keeper of the Librarium. Knowledge is power. Guard it well. Well, that is quite a long list of, uh, of crimes leveled at him. I can only assume, uh, he was told to stand down, said, no, fuck you, I'm leaving. An attempt was made to stop him. Uh, Avatar's, uh, sorry, uh, Angelus may have put a few people in the, uh, in the <laughs> apothecarium. And, uh, and the absconding with the stuff is basically just taking your chat, your company and leaving. Because <laughs> there would have been quite a large amount of war gear on the <laughs> new Fury when he took off. All right, Martellus, you've got something to tell us about uh, Apothecary Galen. I'm interested to hear. The log entry which played when you activated the logic engine aboard the Judgment of Carrion was only one of many in the engine's cogitation archives. Listen to these additional entries. The Emperor has granted us a miracle. Guarding the corpses of the brothers lost aboard this derelict, we have found a survivor. Librarian Kairos is restored to the chapter. And this entry, sometime later, Bonaparte fell today, killed by another demon of the Dark Gods. All our exits have sealed, and our beacons have failed. We are trapped. Kyrus's psychic powers have saved us several times already. But how can he defend against the voices I hear in the darkness? How can any of us? The rest of the log is protected by ancient encoding rites, and these are strikingly reminiscent of the rites masking our traitor's identity. And this is the same Kairos, who is now Chapter Master and Chief Librarian of the Blood Ravens. Emperor, preserve us. What happened to Galen himself? He serves with the Chapter Honor Guard. <laughs> oh, well, coincidence? That... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there, I don't. I think coincidence uh, is is rapidly f like absconding from the entire uh, <laughs> thing that's going on here. Uh, I I am firmly beginning to believe that this is all very linked together. You don't you don't have a whole bunch of shit like this happening. You just we just got we've only just got one last thing we've got to link into it. But uh, Thule also has something to say, and it's about Gabriel, and it's probably about how he's no traitor and he's the best, and they're best buddies. This is madness. Gabriel is no traitor. We must expose the corruption. Among the Honor Guard, we must go to Calderas. Yeah, and uh, that's exactly where we'll be going next time, ladies and gentlemen, because our final, like our next mission, <clears throat> I haven't been to Calderas for a little while now, 
is uh, clue to the traitor, and more importantly, we're actually going to be in conflict with none other than the Blood Ravens themselves. So this that's going to be the absolute first time that this has happened in the entirety of the Dawn of War games. I, I'm looking forward to it because it's a really fun mission. And uh, we'll see you all then. I've been the last Robokai. And I've been Cool Guy. So we'll see you all next time.